Greetings, travelers. Now, there was a prequel to this game where you play as a 16-bit character escaping from an 8-bit character that has a big knife. You end up finding an axe and then turn into a demon. It was short and not very fun, but that's okay because Purgatory... Eh. Purgatory 2 though. Oh yeah, now we're cooking with gas. More like cooking demons with gas. Why do we start this game in a school? No one knows. It's not important. Not unless you care about the true ending. What happened in the first game? Four people went into a scary building. There was a mean girl, a non-verbal girl who was the protagonist, a purple-haired boy, and a green boy. Everyone except protagonist and mean girl died. At least that's what you think. And that's why in the sequel, we play as Ebel, a very smart, very emotionally intelligent protagonist who all women swoon over. He is absolutely a self-insert for whoever made this game. Ebel's greatest trait? Not being a sexual predator. Because holy shit, why is every man in this game such a fucking scumbag piece of shit? A good life lesson, I suppose. Don't be a jerk. Basically, this thriller game would be like me making a video game where it's all the Nekopara cats who are also badasses with guns and I make them fall in love with my self-insert protagonist. In other words, this is fucking awesome. After following Mean Girl from the first game, I, I mean Ebel, saved her from the clutches of these leches and the giant spiders that are eating everyone in the slum district. Never make the mistake of choosing to be poor, Traveler. Please donate to my anime merchandise fund. Diving into the bottomless pit, we talk to her enough times to find out that Ebel can read people's emotions so well that he's not going to be deceived by this woman's delicately crafted lives and fake tears. That's why he agrees to go on a date with her. While exploring, there is a big spooky sign for a monster that definitely is not going to show up after we go back to find Emma after finding this escape route that leads us to this big spooky sign. Wow, would you look at that? This could have never been anticipated. After that escape, we now cut to the protagonist from the first game who is named Enri. <laughs> nothing personal, kid. Holy shit. All known predators don't fuck around with Enri. That is, unless you are the green-haired boy from the first game who actually survived and is the mastermind and is actually a cyborg that blasted off Enri's arm with a rocket launcher, only for a naked anime demon girl to be introduced in the plot and immediately regrow Enri's arm not even five minutes later. Oh my god, this plot is so fucking stupid, but why is this so entertaining? The writing? Awful. Now, is the gameplay good? No. Is it bad? Yes. This doesn't matter though, because 90% of the time, you're going to be talking to characters about completely unimportant garbage while also mentioning that everyone should be running from the giant bloody spider demon that's chasing you. Have you ever heard the phrase show and don't tell? Well, how about just show and tell? You can literally see a character take a shit and then afterwards they'll say, well, I took my pants off, I put my ass on the toilet seat, pooped, wiped up, flushed, and then put my pants back on. And you're just sitting there dumbfounded because you literally just saw that happen. Why are the characters elaborating on it? And yet the conversation is still happening while there is a giant bloody mangled spider demon screeching at the top of its lungs trying to find you. And there is just no way that you could play the first game and think it would turn into some kind of weird experience like this about class systems and government conspiracies. The game is just completely unhinged. Is this video even a review? I don't even know. I already spoiled most of the major plot twists and even with that, you will be shocked by how far this game is willing to go. Purgatory 2 is an experience. It's a lifestyle even. It's like eating highly processed junk food. It's not good for me, nor is it even gourmet, but I'm gonna eat that shit up anyways like a deranged maniac because it's delicious. Well, thankfully, the creators have stated that they're making a Purgatory 3 and a Purgatory X, the prequel. All I want to say is that I don't want these games to come out. I need them to come out. I need to know what happens. Does Ebel finally get with the girl of his dreams? Does the demon chick who is naked for half the game develop a good fashion sense? Does Emma do anything that would make her not a complete waste of oxygen? I wouldn't recommend this game unless you put your expectations at rock bottom, but I can think of worse ways to kill 5 hours though. But even if I think the game is bad, if I find it entertaining, can I really call it a bad experience? I'll let you ponder that one. Now let's get out there and watch the big titty demon waifu completely obliterate yet another giant spider. Damn, that never gets old. 
I can't believe that Cher would release a video as short as this one, if only I could watch more of his YouTube content.